Kylian Mbappe, who has been left out of the squad for their pre-season tour of Japan. It's reported that decision has been made by the club tonight. And that is huge news. And you said it at the top of the programme. You think there could be something huge this summer, something that changes the face of football going forward. Well, this could be it. Where will he... Does this mean that he isn't in... It's a massive statement to leave him out of uh, of a tour to Japan, isn't it? It's huge. It's huge. Absolutely so, so, huge. Um, look, I don't know if we if I'm jumping the gun here, but does this mean that Kylian Mbappe is potentially going to be leaving Paris Saint-Germain this window? Not potentially. Really? He's going to be going, my friend. So this means it can only be two clubs, potentially. It can only be two clubs. Do you think? And and of the two, I would say it can only be one of the two, really. <laughs> it can only it can only be Man City or Real Madrid, and I don't think it will be Man City. Which means it has to be Real Madrid, doesn't it? I think if you're Manchester City, you have to try. Can you imagine? You have to try. Real, do you know what? It would make sense. You know off the back of what happened to Real Madrid at, uh, at the Etihad? You know when Manchester City dismantled them so mm. perfectly and actually so easily in one of the most dazzling 45 minutes that we've seen from any English team in Europe against elite opposition ever? I think that that was the moment that... People at Real Madrid suddenly went, we need to do something else. We need to We need to improve. They want to regain the Champions League at Wembley next season. And they've made they've made uh, big strides in terms of doing that. They've gone and signed Jude Bellingham. The new look, Real Madrid, is very exciting, isn't it? Mm. But as a front three, Vinicius Jr., Kylian Mbappe and Rodrigo, backed up by Camavinga, uh, Jude Bellingham, Chiuamani, yeah, with, with Modric there. and Cruz still hanging about... This is this is it, isn't it? We're, this is Galactico Mark II. It, it, I, I think it would be remarkable to see him leave this summer. Where he ends up, um, I, I think it's going to be about who puts the money that Paris Saint Germain want on the table first. Mm. And if I'm if, if I run Manchester City tonight, I'm making that call. To be perfectly honest, yeah. Imagine so. It, City won't do this, will they? Could, could Kylian Mbappe be playing in the Premier League? We spoke about it earlier on. In terms of their brand, you know, they were talking about it recently. They were saying that we are now the biggest brand in world football and fans laughed them off, <laughs> let's be honest. And you said it a little bit earlier on, come on. You said what? There's half a dozen clubs in this country with a bigger brand. Yes. That's what you said, <laughs> let alone the rest of European uh, and world football. Absolutely. But if you get Kylian Mbappe... There are kids all over the world. And I get it. Haaland's had an impact. And there's a lot of Haaland shirts being worn by kids all over the world. And they've got some brilliant players too. But they haven't had a Messi. No. They haven't had a Ronaldo at Manchester City. No, no, no. They and it, if they spend the money on Kylian Mbappe and try and tie him to a long-term deal, then the crest of Manchester City is the one that you are going to see on beaches when you go on holiday, when you go on city trips around the world. You're going to see people wearing this Manchester City shirt with Mbappe 7 on the back, absolutely guaranteed. Also, in terms of in terms of paying the money that Paris Saint-Germain are going to want, look, I know Real Madrid have huge sums of money, weirdly, but can they actually pay the money that, that PSG are going to demand for a player like Mbappe? It can only be... I just don't know where this is going to go. This is it. This is, the, this is what we've been waiting By for. By the way, these reports tonight come from Fabrizio Romano, who you may have seen on social media is a huge player when it comes to uh, the transfer window in particular. And he's just tweeted, further to this, Paris Saint-Germain consider Mbappe as being for sale from now. They think he wants to leave for free next summer, but they will want to get a deal done and get some money in for him this summer so wow huge news tonight concerning the future of Kylian Mbappe at Paris Saint-Germain on AM on DAB via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker TalkSport